it's not, it's not like the main. It, it is like the core. At its core, it's probably the reason why you didn't Speaking go for Speaking of matchups, <laughs> Snake versus Me Brawler. And Me Brawler is, is apparently great. But if you can think of a single character who might just completely wreck a Me Brawler, it would probably be Snake. We, I have talked to HLB about what he thinks Me Brawler is, having been just the character for a while. He does think Me Brawler is probably one of the best mid tiers for sure. Uh, definitely might be suffering in a few aspects of why he might be top tier or mi high tier, but he does believe the character is a bit mid tier. One of the best mid tiers. We'll, and we'll see here because Snake, uh, one of Key's main, it's kind of the return to form for Key because he's kind of been out of the loop of tournaments and he's talked about on his Twitter how he wants to be a little bit more participant in them, especially how he wants to level up. And hopefully we'll see if he can get the thorn out of his side that it is HLB. These two usually do play at Worlds Collide Wednesdays. Okay. Um, so for him, him to play here at Hyde is kind of rare, but not in terms so of So they should, they should know each other's matchup at the very least. Exactly. That's very bad for HLB specifically, if only yeah. because one of his strongest advantages is people just being confused by um, the matchup, which is what we saw with uh, his, his earlier set mm -hmm. my room. I'm willing to bet we're going to see a lot of shot put, and we've already seen a, a fair number of shot put, just because it's one of the few options that HLB has yeah. to counter pressure Snake. When it's not only counter pressure too; it's to able to stop things like a grenade from being around him too, as well. That's the one thing like Snake is able to use his grenade. Oh, but stuck on the platform after shot put. Unfortunately, that's going to be the one thing he has to be cautious around. Yeah, that's like the, the problem, MLAC. right? Shot, shot put is not a particularly great uh, zoning tool. Mm -hmm. It's it's too slow. It's uh, very easy to dodge. Oh, I like that. Wait for him to commit to go for the directional air dodge. Snakes love to go for the end shot, but does reach the threshold. Shot put edge guard off the s fucking sniped him. Yeah, it's it meets the threshold where Cipher will actually get hit because you do have to hit. Uh, Cipher has about eight percent of armor for Snake to recover, so you have to know which move is able to stop Cipher in order to get him off of it. Mm -hmm. And if you guess wrong, well, he hasn't taken any damage, yeah. and sometimes you'll be the one taking damage. Exactly. Well, relatively even here, clearly they do have a fair understanding of each other's characters. Nice, could use a dare out of shield. Grab, down throw, and he's immediately... I like the fact that he waits for him to come for the hard landing. Not, also, not only that, because Snakes might try to land with the reverse grenade, but also Snakes wait does make him susceptible to being comboed. Yes, he tried to go for the same move right there, the shot put against the Cypher. The key was close enough that he managed to get back. I'm willing to bet it's going to make Key very scared about when and how he uses his Cypher from here on out. Mm -hmm. Once again, Angel be using the shot put, he even trades with Grenade, but he has to be careful like we saw earlier because his landing here is the one thing Key has kind of been... Keen to capitalize on his HLB's landing. Keen, I love it. Mm -hmm. But so many, um, all of his kills have been from that. Uh, no shot put there, but he manages to catch him with the ledge trap. See, and, and we're seeing much more cautious recovery. He, like the usage of the, like the, all the usage of the air dodge to mm -hmm. recover off the side. The way HLB is kind of playing this matchup is pretty solid because he's also giving respect to Snake. Look at the timer right now, four minutes. It's very rare that we see some matches be four minutes in, sometimes even three. And well, if you try to rush in on Snake, you're going to get blown up. Exactly, and HLB knows like my character doesn't have the best projectile. But this is, actually, this is the only projectile that he can able to use in the shot and the end lag and the startup. Not that great, but that's why we see HLB use it at a distance. It's all he's got. Oh, enemy chaser. Can you make the recovery here? And oh, no. Uh, he grazed the actual grenade. I'm sorry, the The rocket. Nikita. Yeah, the Nikita, the actual rocket. And unfortunately, that was the one thing that stopped him. The Nikita him. is so scary. It's Yeah. I play Link. Oh, wait. You know that. Yeah, it's, it's I won the di I won the ditto. <laughs> it's, but. it's one of those things where, like, you kind of have to respect the Nikita, too, as well. Because, like, off stage, it's, it can just circle camp you in ways you don't want He's to. He's going back Puff. The Puff is back. Wait, Puffer's Nikita. Oh God. Oh, uh, that 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 sounds scary. One of the things that HLB does have as a puff main is multiple jumps, the ability to edge guard snake. But not only that, if he has to play the lane game, Puff will able to supersede that a lot. That is true. Snake. Puff is famously capable of camping. Yeah. But also that, like, once Puff has you off the stage with her, with her, she's being one of the best uh, characters to be in the air. She can definitely stop Snake from making the recovery, but I don't. I actually don't even know if 
I'm assuming HLB does know what move to do to stop actual Cypher, because if he's going to play this matchup, he has to know what move he can do to stop when yeah, Snake goes for Cypher. The, the thing that underlines this matchup is that Snake is essentially one of the largest characters, sorry, one of the heaviest characters in the game, mm -hmm. and Puff is one of the lightest. So essentially every bit of damage is just so much more multiplied on yeah. uh, HLB as opposed to Key. Oh, I think he kind of caught him for going for directional air dodge, and then he just immediately goes for up tilt. That's See, that up tilt's going to be complete destruction in this matchup. Oh, he went Ooh, for rest? He went for the rest. Yeah, and it kind of costed him. And that's already 38%, which in this matchup is effectively 70%. Yeah. Nice, goes off the deep end here to make sure he can try to stop. He's trying to get the recovery back throw. Yeah, HLB is going for it. It just doesn't seem to be working that well so far. See, that's where a nice recovery, using the float to space around all of Key's attempts to hit him. Mm -hmm. Actually manages to get the kill in, but already near death percent for Puff. For, for Key, honestly, this isn't going to be... This is one of those things, like, I, we kind of saw that he went for up tilt. His ability to use up tilt as an anti-air, but only that half grenades and half setups. You wanna, he wants to make sure he capitalizes HLB on the landings here, because even though, like I said earlier, right, Puff is really great in the air, but when it comes to the ground game, that's where she doesn't excel, and that's where something that um, Snake is able to take care of. Mm -hmm. And that's part of the problem, right? It's not, it's not like Snake is bad at facing aerial opponents. Uh -huh. It's just that he really, it's preferred that he excels at being on the ground and having great setups. <laughs> Once again, up tilt. I, something tells me that if Key takes this game, it's going to be with another up tilt. Yeah. Oh, he does not have a grenade or a C4 set up to come. You know, Snake stage. can recover from a lot, but he can't recover from that. Yeah. Snake, one of the best recoveries on the game. Not enough to survive that. Yeah. Usually we do see some snake mains have a setup with C4 or grenade to be able to recover, and then um, stage deck. So this go for another we're Nikita. actually on Sorry, last B. stock at the same time. HLB is in a bad position, but he could theoretically take this, especially yeah. oh, if he gets an edge guard. did so much damage on the shield too, especially with a grenade in Key's hand. It wasn't enough though, and it ensured that Key was able to get the punish. Yeah. Now HLB has to figure out how to get back on stage and stay there. This is the coverage I was telling you about earlier, right? Like, he's he's got the ground covered, but not only that, he's going for plays where he has, like, Napalm up in the skies. So if HLB does try to go for some kind of cross-up or um, an aerial like that, he'll, he'll pay the price. I called it, did I not? Yeah. Gonna be up tilt if he gets game stock there. It's good for him, too, because honestly, it's like I said, it's kind of like an anti-air. It's a great, it's, it's got a huge hitbox, mm -hmm. it kills, and it's gonna hit you in the air. And where is Puff going to be? Yeah. In the air, yeah. All right, well, this is game. Uh, pretty much at this point, like, he has oh, won two on, games. Sir. I would be surprised because I've never seen oh, HLB go Pokemon oh, Trainer, but hey, man, sometimes... He, he, you're, you're throwing darts at the board. Mm -hmm. You're seeing what sticks at this point. Yeah. Still it makes enough sense. Pokemon Trainer is a good character and has a lot of options against Snake, right? If you're Ivysaur, you can counter zone him. If you're Squirtle, you could break his zone. If you're Charizard, you can survive his hits at a percentage that most characters can't. Yeah. And it's already working out a lot better. That's a quick 70 damage oh, right there. Oh, great. down here. He had nowhere else to go but low, and snag. if he would have actually gone for the high recovery, he would have been able to survive that. But one thing Ivysaur does have is able to cover the air as well. Ivysaur's down air could hit you from miles below you. Yeah. If Ivysaur I, actually, was in space, it could hit you Recently, from space. it actually did get nerfed, actually. So it doesn't have that big range that it used to, but it's still something to definitely respect. Nice. Uh, it's kind of like the, when you see Ness and, or Lucas go for PK Thunder. Like If the tail hits you, it'll stop you from recovering. The same kind of, roughly the same kind of idea with the effect of Nikita from Snake. Yeah, see, Nikita is probably the best edge guard and tool in the game, mm -hmm. and even the threat of Nikita is enough to kill you sometimes, like yeah. you saw there. What a setup from such a far range from Key to able to keep him occupied with grenades, and at that point, HLB was going for a great relief. Mm -hmm. He wasn't aware of the C4. Spacing game. Key is starting to take this one. Not only that, uh, Snake does really excel Pokemon Stadium. That's true. He has the platform mm -hmm. they can use to set up the, his C4. And he all oh, and whatever grenade traps he has as well. 
The Ivy Sword's starting to come up there in percent. That Charizard switch was not surprising. Nice. Good tech chase. And the down smash to boot immediately. I like the fact that he even waited for the get up attack. That's that that's the threat, right, from the from Snake's down throw. Is that the minute he does it, it the race is on. Can yeah. you get out of his grasp or is it gonna get you? And picking the right option from those from from that option too as well. If Snake does have you from the throw. Oh, he tried to get away, but he couldn't. And I talked about it earlier. That's why I kind of still keep going for that low recovery. I, that's why I respected it, right? Because Ivysaur does have that range. Ivysaur can get you from anywhere. Yeah, the high recovery. You know, Snake should be used to facing snipers. <laughs> but I don't know if he's ever fought one like uh, Ivysaur. <laughs> There's a sniper wolf joke in there. I I was gonna say like I I don't know if people I, I would hope so that people have played enough Metal Gear, but hey. There it is. HLB is gonna Squirtle have to cannot survive an up tilt. He's one of the top three lightest characters in the game, and honestly, being that light, um, he was gonna. It was the only place he could have landed, yeah. and when the only place he could land is right on top of a snake with time to react, you're done. Yeah, 